Oh my god. This is actually happening. Um... <laughs> I don't know if an, in an intro is going to play? Or what? I see a blue Pikmin walking, okay. I am, I am just in utter disbelief right now. I can't believe we finally made it. I'm actually getting teary-eyed. Oh my god, my face is so red. Oh my god, I'm actually crying right now. <laughs> Holy crap. Well then. It looks so gorgeous. The game looks so beautiful. Um, <laughs> I didn't expect to have this kind of introductory reaction. Hello my YouTube viewers. My name is Ganvius, and welcome to part one of my Let's Play series of Pikmin 4. The wait is finally over. This is the final chapter of my Pikmin journey. This is it. And just hearing this music and just seeing the environment on the main menu or on the title screen or whatever is just very emotional for me because I'm not going to ramble too long. I'm just going to keep it very brief because we're just going to jump right into it. Um, I started the series back back in June of 2023 with Pikmin 1. I, I played on release day of Pikmin 1 plus 2 and then I played 1 and then 2 and then I picked up 3. I played 3. I played Hey Pikmin, and now we're here. It's just... I can't believe it. <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say. I didn't expect to get speechless and slightly emotional. <laughs> but if we can hit 200 <laughs> likes for part 1 of Pikmin 4, that would be absolutely insane. I know that's a giant like goal, but please, please, if you know anybody who loves Pikmin, please share this video around with family and friends who might get into Pikmin or love Pikmin, or just with any other creators who would like to see someone experience Pikmin 4 for the very first time. That means so much to me if you guys could do that for me. And if you enjoy my content or if you enjoy my journey so far, please consider hit hitting that subscribe button. That'd mean the world and let me know in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, I played Pikmin one through uh, three and then Hey Pikmin for the very first time. So I played one, two, three and Hey Pikmin for the very first time on this channel. So if you guys want to check out my, uh, my blind playthrough of those games, the playlist in the description down below. But I'm done rambling. I picked up this game when it was a, the, the, the day that it became available for pre-order. I got this Pikmin 4 tote bag from Best Buy as a pre-order bonus. And I also got uh, this Pikmin 4 pin set uh, actually sent to me in Famal Friday from a viewer by the name of David. So thank you, David, if you're watching this video for sending me that pin set, because it was an exclusive bonus for something else. I think it was from like Walmart or something. I don't remember. But if you guys do want to send me fan mail for Fan Mail Friday, my PO box is on the screen right now. Kachonk! But yeah, I'm done rambling. It's already been four minutes. Time flies when you're having fun, but oh my god. I, I actually had tears in my eyes. I I, I don't I don't believe it. But let's get right into it. <laughs> Dendori battle. I remember when I uploaded Pikmin Part 1. And so many people went to my comment section and spammed Dandori issue, Dandori issue, Dandori issue. All of these random people just started spamming Dandori issue. And I'm like, okay, what does that mean? Because I had no idea what that meant. So I literally Googled Dandori issue meaning, and it just means skill issue in Pikmin terms. <laughs> and I thought that was hilarious. Um, it didn't tell me it was from Pikmin 4, 
Uh, I didn't know, actually, until I started saying Dandoria shit. Like, I was in on the joke uh, by the end of Pikmin 1, and definitely I was in on the joke for Pikmin 2. I was making a lot of jokes about Dandoria issue. I, I think I even titled a video Dandoria issue. Uh, but I remember someone telling me in the comments, dude, how do you know what Dandoria issue means? It, you don't, you're not supposed to know what it means until you hit Pikmin 4. So, <laughs> I'm like, I, I don't know, like, so many people started spamming Dandori issue at me, so I just had to Google it. Anyways, I just thought I should share a little bit of history about that. But anyways, Dandori battle. Put your planning skills to work and manage the clock in this fierce competition that can be enjoyed solo or with two players. Yeah, I'll be checking that out after I'm done with Pikmin 4. So stay tuned for that, and I'll be in the Pikmin Journey Extras playlist. But anyways, here we go. The story mode. This is the reason why we're here. So I'm gonna read this. Rescue shipwrecked castaways on an uncharted planet with the help of Pikmin and this epic adventure. Alright. <laughs> I still, I'm still processing the fact that we're here, that we made it, that it's finally time to play Pikmin 4. I'm not going to dilly-dally any longer. I'm going to put a disclaimer saying skip to this point in the video if you want me to get right into gameplay, so I'm going to do that, so don't worry. Uh, but, oh my god. It's time. It's time. The final chapter of my Pikmin journey starts in 5... Four, three, two, one. Here we go. Let's begin. <laughs> uh, game progress is saved automatically. The P icon will appear on the top left corner of the screen while saving is in progress. Also, you guys probably already know this, but this is a blind playthrough, so please do not share any spoilers whatsoever for this game. But by all means, share tips and tricks and give me some advice to help me get better at the game. That is definitely recommended. But other than that, <laughs> I'm ready. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Here we go. Alright. Uh, how many players are there? In co-op mode, P2 supports P1 with simple targeting controls using the pebble? What? The, what is the pebble picture? I don't know what that means, but it's just me. I have no friends. Here we go. The final chapter of our Pikmin journey. We've been waiting for this moment for almost a full year now. The time has finally come. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you, by the way, for sticking by my side. And now we celebrate as I play this game. Captain Olimar. I am Captain Olimar. A commander spaceship called the SS Dolphin. No time for voice cracks. I didn't expect this. This is the story of how I crashed onto an unknown alien planet, and how I was ultimately rescued. What? <laughs> is that it? Oh, th oh, there's more, okay. After the crash, I woke up to find my ship was in pieces scattered everywhere. <laughs> oh God. I had no way of returning home to my beloved family. I thought I was doomed. I didn't know I would be doing this right now. The onion. Is this... This is when he meets the Pikmin for the first time? I think it is. Until I encountered a strange species which I named Pikmin. After my beloved Pikmin carrots. <laughs> So this is he's, the Pikmin had an inner desire or will to carry objects. With their help, I was able to farm and transport my missing ship parts. Right. Time passed and I met yet another mysterious creature. It appeared to be malnourished. So I tossed over a treat. Aww. After that, we quickly bonded. <laughs> 
Sure, James and Steve Fast Partner. No quest to find the missing pieces of my spaceship. A quest that was nearing its end. What? Huh? But you didn't. What? We need to spot her. We arrived at the last area we had left to explore. <laughs> We're in a house! What is this place? I can't focus on two things at once! I'm trying to comprehend what's going on around me and I'm trying to voice act as Olimar too! My throat was not ready for that! Oh god, don't take that out of context! <laughs> what is that? Oh my god. <laughs> what is that? What am I looking at? What, what, what am I seeing right now? Okay. Right, um, so, is this another, like, is this a different, I'm so confused because I thought he was describing Pikmin 1 events. We haven't met this dog, or whatever it is, in Pikmin 1. No, this is the first introduction. So, is this different? Is this not connected to the other Pikmin games? Or is he just talking about, uh, this game, the beginning of this game? And, and he's trying to, like, jot down his notes for somebody else? I am so confused. Because now we're, ba we're back in past time, right? <laughs> we are playing the story that Olimar is telling. Oh my god. I'm so bamboozled and I haven't even started yet. Okay. Oh, but god, what an introduction. Alright. Something about this area is different from the others we've explored so far. It's just so good to see you, Olimar. Oh, my children! Wait, uh, wait, where are you running off to? We need Louie. Oh, what are you little rascals doing? What are you guys doing? We are, lit we are literally inside a house. Inside someone's house. That can't be a good sign. The Pikmin don't usually scurry off like that. Are they scared of your dog, maybe? I suppose I'll have to call them back while I search for the missing ship parts. Oh, we gotta find ship parts? We gotta find ship parts? Oh my god. Oh my god. Find the ship parts. But what's the dog's name? Uh, look. Oh. So, are we, is this... <laughs> What? We gotta find ship parts. We haven't found ship parts since Pikmin 1. Oh, God. What is this? What, what, like, what is going on right now in front of my face? <laughs> look ahead, ZL. First, I need to look for the Pikmin. I got it. I'm not used to doing this. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, look ahead, ZL. Oh, I see. So I'll go over here. Yeah. Holy crap. All right, Pikmin. <laughs> Hopefully a what what the what in the thickness is that? Holy spiky buttocks. That I I don't want to get near that. Um Yeah, is that honey over there? Oh, I see Pikmin. The fact that I'm in a living room is insane. Uh, yeah, I know. I know, Olimar. I see the kitchen over there. I, a real person can just walk by right now. <laughs> oh, God, this is so good. Oh. Or so some of the Pikmin head this way. <laughs> there could be hiding behind those things. Let's break them and see. <laughs> when we jump, I'll start charging up my pup strength. Okay, what's your pup's name? This isn't Ochi, is it? Also, it's no secret that there are Ochi is in the game, or Ochi is the dog on the cover. He's all over the place. But this isn't Ochi. I don't know what this is. So, I'm so confused. I, I, I don't know. I'm speechless. I can't think. My brain is just stunned right now from what it's trying to consume and comprehend through the eyes and just so much is going on here. <laughs> oh, God. I just need to press X and hold down, then take aim. When she's at full strength, I'll let go and let her rush. This is all... This, this, this is so different and so weird and anything. 
Pikmin game I've played. Okay. Uh, so X is a j oh. The fact that you can jump. Rush, okay. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! There goes the pots. Hi guys, it's so good to see you. You little rascals. I knew it. Now I'll use it be to call them back to me with my whistle. <laughs> this makes me so happy, man. Oh, God, I gotta keep turning up my mic again. I just wish I knew why the Pikmin ran away and hid in the first place. I don't know. Hmm. I better make a note of this in my voyage log. Uh, okay, record and lock. Sure. <laughs> yes. You never know when this kind of information will prove useful. Now, how to phrase it? What? What? Voyage log. Number 76. Strange Pikmin behavior. Okay, we're the first 75 entries. Guess I'll read it. <laughs> There's so much going on, man. When I arrived at this area, the Pikmin started acting quite strange. They flew out of the onion and immediately hid. I can't find my spaceship parts without them. I suppose I'll just keep looking for them and can call them back using my whistle. Oh my god. <laughs> Frick. I need to find my missing ship parts, but it'll be much easier if I have more Pikmin to help me. I'd say so. Oh my god. And they're just latching on to the pup. Is this- wait, no parts around here. This isn't Bulby, right? I don't think this is Bulby. I think Bulby is a different pup. I'm trying to go- like, oh god, the lore is just screwing my brain right now. Okay, so... <laughs> oh god. I'm just taking this all in. Oh my god. I can't believe this is it. One good rush can break the- Okay, I got it. <laughs> Alright, no, I got a voice act. One- one good rush can break those. <laughs> I knew I'd find you here. At least I have a few more Pikmin now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Don't look before you leap. Okay. All right. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This, the, this, this game just backhand me in the intro, and I, I'm just trying to uh, pick up everything right now. I explore. The onion. Are the onions also acting up? Okay. Acting strange. All right. Search the area below. Okay. So with these little. Um, dialogue boxes that Olimar has. I'm probably not going to read those. Hi, I see you. Yeah, hop on. <laughs> um, because it's too much for me to keep turning up my gain and sw switch on and off the voice. Uh, but yeah, holy crap. This is just, this is just insane, man. Can I just plop down? I can. <laughs> the fact that we're actually in a house... Oh my lord. Like, I... <laughs> uh, let me guess. They're in the fake grass. I guarantee you they are. E yep, no, come on out. Yeah. Oh, the blue Pikmin. I just realized we just have red, yellow, and blue just like that. There's no go to this certain area to get these certain Pikmin. There's none of that. You just get all of them. Right then and there. So I just got, found three different types of Pikmin in one episode. Hi guys. Yeah, I see you hiding. Yeah, hop on. So now I got 22. Yeah, come here. Come here. So the controller vibrates when you're close. Just like now. Should tap X to jump and climb up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Might as well do that. Oh my god. <laughs> This is insane, man. I can't climb up here. Okay, I can do this, though. Yeah, drop down and latch on. Okay. Hi, guys. It's funny how they're just chilling in the open, too. Yeah, I, I, I thought I could rush this. I want to know it's up here. Let's see. Oh, that's so clever. Is that an armadillo? That... 
That's an armadillo with a very spiky plant-like shell thing. Yeah, I, I will come back to you. You are a boss for sure. If not, then you're just a big ol' enemy I have to deal with. So I'll come back to you. But let me... Let me... Let me, let me just pick up my kids from daycare real fast. Oh my god. I can just explore this whole freaking area. Oh, no, no, no. Don't fling them. Not yet. Not yet. Sorry. I didn't mean to do that. We have 47. Oh my god. Oh. It almost feels like it's semi-open world, man. Like, I don't see the barriers anywhere at all. Saying like, hey, you can't come here. Alright, I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, come to me. Come to me and latch on. <laughs> oh. Okay, there has to be a ship part around here somewhere. This is the perfect situation to rely upon my pup's powerful nose. Drug down one of those ship parts, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so is... So, is this... Olimar's pup from Hoko Tate that he has... Or that he usually has at home with his family? Bulby? Is this Bulby? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Or is this a different one that he found on his journey? We need to stay on that scent. <laughs> okay, alright. Okay, okay. <laughs> R helps keep track of the sim. Ah, I see. I gotcha. Hang on, wait, can I go back though? And claim these Pikmin? Hang on. I, I need to add more to the party. <laughs> what are you, what are you silly fools doing? Can those Pikmin be playing? Yes, they are. Fun's over, come on. Come on. <laughs> oh my God, I love this so much. This is, oh. Uh my god. Words escape me right now. I'm at a loss for words. Oh my lord. Okay. Uh, I'll go this way. Alright. Hello. Okay, is there more over here? I want to make sure I got all my Pikmin with me. Hi! Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Let's get them down with a rush. Oh, wait, what? Wait, where? Wait, where are they? Oh, they're right there on that pillow. Or I can just do this. <laughs> see, that works too. <laughs> you see, you gotta think smarter, not harder, Olimar. Or the ship parts, I don't know. I'll do a, a rush for the heck of it. Bleh. I'm just gonna pretend that they plop down. Alright, come here. Alright. Hang on. I know you told me that we already have enough Pikmin, but I can't help but see... <laughs> see all these other ones. Alright. You can't hide from me. <laughs> that, that, that almost sounds ominous. You can't hide from me. <laughs> Alright, hang on. M my mic gain it keeps getting all screwy because I keep changing it. There we go. Another thing is that I'm going to be uh, taking my sweet time with this Let's Play. I won't be rushing around getting everything done as quickly as I can. I'm just gonna just savor this because this is the, uh, the last chapter of my journey. So I'm just gonna savor every single minute I can with this game. And just enjoy everything this game has to offer. Okay. All right, that's all of that. Is that everybody? At this point, I don't know. I don't know if that's everyone. All right, I'm gonna rush in here. Oops, I got Bonk! Oh, more Pikmin, of course. <laughs> all right, I got 33 of each now. 33 blue, red, and yellow. So, everything is perfectly balanced, as all things should be. So, does that mean that I got all the Pikmin? Maybe. Alright. Oh yeah, the scent. Okay, it's actually going up here. To you! Hi! 
Uh, I don't know where my ship part is. You might be hiding it. But are you ready to tussle? You guys ready for the first boss fight? Here we go. Uh-oh. <laughs> A creature. I don't see any ship parts. Could that thing have swallowed one hole? Probably. Are you going to tell me how to beat the creature? Those spiky things are going to make this tough. I have to find an opening. Oh. <laughs> That's so cool that it shows you. It shows you gameplay. Maybe I should use X to build up energy so we can rush the creature when the time is right. I gotcha. <laughs> Frick! In the meantime, let's circle it and wait for a chance to strike. Gotcha. Alright. I'm ready. Bring it on! Oh, the classic! <laughs> the classic freaking enemy sounds! Oh, frick. No, 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 no. Or er, enemy theme, I should say. Alright, okay. You're nude. Come on! Yeah! Okay. Yeah, attack, attack! <laughs> <laughs> well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> I thought for sure that would be at least one minute longer, but... Okay. I feel bad now. I... I am so sorry. <laughs> I did it! Yeah! <laughs> oh my god. Holy crap. Oh god. I just need to drink some water after that. Wow. <laughs> I didn't expect you to go down that quickly. <laughs> it's the interstellar radio. We located it at last. With this back in my position, I can finally call for help. Okay. That's good. It feels so weird. It feels so weird collecting ship parts again. This feels like Pikmin 1 with a new twist. A Pikmin 1 remake or something. Oh, God. I, 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 that's a lie because it only feels like Pikmin 1 because there's ship parts to collect. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. It just feels so weird, man. I've recovered the interstellar radio. Oh, wait so I immediately sent out an SOS signal and attached the latest version of my voyage log. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Days and weeks have passed. My signal reached the rescue corps. Alright, I didn't see the text underneath. Oh! They took off towards the remote, the remote planet of Noble Planet to make me home safe. God, I hate speed reading. I want to go at my own pace, but whatever. Unfortunately, fate had other ideas. The rescue officers sent to rescue me crash landed during their arrival. Of course they did! <laughs> Double shipwrecks are rare and extremely unlucky. At this point, you might think that all hope was lost. Okay. But there was one last rescue officer left at Rescue Corps HQ, a rookie, you. <laughs> I get to be me! <laughs> That's right, you are my last hope. <laughs> Hell yeah! I got you, Olimar! I will save you! <laughs> I'm so excited, I'm drooling! I am drooling right now! <laughs> oh god. Rescue the Rescue Corps. Following emergency protocol, all officers were directed to evacuate the spaceship immediately. Finding the dispersed rescue corps is now your top priority. Okay. Create your ID badge and deploy immediately! Oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh my god, I'm so... God. <laughs> oh man, this makes me so happy. Finally! I can be in the Pikmin canon 
Ugh. Who am I? Okay. First things first, the face. Uh, I think I am- this is more me. I'm not pale white, but I- I- I'm somewhat tan. So I'm gonna go with this. Uh, wait, oh crap. Wait, hang on. So, do I just have to create the face first? You'll be able to change your look and name later! What?! <laughs> I can do that later?! Okay. Alright, I gotcha. Okay, so that. Now my stature? <laughs> that's not me. <laughs> oh wait, I just realized that's the okay. That's the Olimar build. That's the Louis build. I don't know what build that could be, but that's Charlie's build for sure. Okay, all right. I'm not really short and stubby. <laughs> I'm I'm not <laughs> I'm not Louis at all. Okay, I could go with the Charlie build, but... Uh, I don't know which one to choose. <laughs> God. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm gonna try this one. Because I am tall and scrawny. Oh God, okay, hang on. Yeah? Okay. Or, or this does not work. I don't know. Oh, uh, different faces and eyes, or just eyes in general. What do I want? Let's see. Good lord. I have so much to choose from. Uh. I'm gonna. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. Let's see. Let's go with. <laughs> I don't know if I want that. This looks nothing like me. Uh. Let's see, hair. Um. Oh god, I wish there were some more options. I definitely wish there were some more options. Maybe if I see the hair color. They don't have black hair! No! What do you mean they don't have black hair? No, 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 no. Let me go all the way. Enter your name, Ganvis. That's it? What? Oh, they don't have black hair? <laughs> Why don't you have black hair? <laughs> oh, this might take me a minute. <laughs> I don't know what to do about this. Is there gonna be hairspray? Can I spray my hair black? Why do you not have black hair? <laughs> All right, for now, this is the best I can do. Do you see the resemblance? If you've answered no, then you are correct. <laughs> oh my God. Enter your name, Ganvius. I, yeah. I, I guess I'm using a fake ID or something. Yep, that's that's me. Ganvius. Yep. There we go. Ready to deploy. I am ready. It's, it says you'll be able to change your look and name later. So hopefully this means I could get like hair dye or something. <laughs> or I don't know. Because that's, that's not me right now. That is definitely not me. We're just going to have to pretend that's black hair or, or whatever. But anyways, yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's, let's go. Yeah, let's, let's start. <laughs> Home planet carrot? <laughs> huh? <laughs> this is going so wrong. Risky core officer Ganvius. Home planet carrot. <laughs> The Rescue Corps' newest officer. They recently accepted a dangerous mission to rescue their missing colleagues. Okay. <laughs> there I am. I guess. <laughs> oh my god. Not only my fate. Oh, is this me talking? But the fate of the Rescue Corps! Yeah! This is so epic. Rest in the hands of one inexperienced adventure. Oh, this is a narrator. Or is this Almar speaking? I don't know anymore. I wish it would tell me who's talking. Oh my god. I still can't believe this is it. Oh my goodness. That's supposed to be me? <laughs> I 
I'm not that immersed into it because that is not me. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't you stretch at me all right oh my god i don't i don't like the way i run <laughs> i don't like any of this <laughs> i'm crying right now jesus okay is that that's ochi hi nice to meet you It's it's a pleasure to meet you. I yes. Hello there. <laughs> Ochi. Okay, from the home planet Gaia. This young loyal rescue pup is one of an elite breed of space dogs that's long served the shepherd family. This is his first mission. Oh great! A noob working with a noob. Okay. Encountered a rescue corps rescue pup, Ochi. The remaining six rescue officers are still out there somewhere. All right. <laughs> I see that. Wait a minute. Look, just look at me run. <laughs> I'm dying. Oh my god. I. It's gonna take me a hot minute for me to get used to this. Holy hell. Okay. What's going on? Uh. Oh, hi. You found someone in need of rescuing. I see that. Okay. Good job, boy. Can we just climb over this? Begin rescue operations at once. Oh, okay. Can I have you pull this? Send. Oh wait, can you lock on with that? You can! I am so smart! Okay, I wasn't sure, but yeah! You're doing you're doing great! Hey, good boy, Ochi. All the dirt has been removed. Okay. I this 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 will take me a hot second to <laughs> for me to get used to. Why does it look like Balloon Boy from FNAF? No oh, good. Uh, is that? Or, I need. Hmm, I need to figure out a voice for you. I gotta figure out a voice for you, cause I don't know what you sound like. Uh, hmm? uh, is that you, Ochi? <laughs> <laughs> Trial and error of the voice. Thank the stars. I was sure that my SOS signal had reached HQ. So you and Ochi found and rescued me together. Ochi. <laughs> That's actually quite surprising. I've never known Ochi to listen to anyone other than our captain. Ochi. Oh, I should probably introduce myself. I'm Colin, communications operator for the rescue corps. Nice to meet you, Colin. You sound very old. Okay, so he's also from Gaia. As the Rescue Corps comms operator, he handles communication for his fellow officers. Plus, he's handy with a wrench. That's cool. Operator Colin! Hey, okay! You met up with Colin, the Rescue Corps comms operator. That's one down. Now, where could the other rescue officers be? Hello. My path got cut off by a small landslide. And when my hunger became unbearable, I decided to nap to preserve my stamina. You're our latest recruit, right? It's Canvius, isn't it? Uh, you, you, I think it got me confused with somebody else. Well, hey. that's, not, that's not me. I couldn't be more grateful to you for rescuing me. As I mentioned before, I was the one who sent out the emergency signal. The rest of the rescue corps, oh, well, no. the rescue corps, well, <coughs> It was a rough landing. We, in we entered the planet's atmosphere and lost control of our ship. What happened? Oh? I have no idea. There were six officers on the ship, but we were separated when we ejected from the spacecraft. Long and long. We came here to find Captain Ol- <coughs> uh, My throat can't handle this new voice that well. To find Captain Olimar. 
whose own ship had crashed only to suffer the same fate. It's almost embarrassing. Tunabe. I've co confirmed that our spaceship, the S.S. Shepard, landed somewhere over there. But I couldn't reach it on my own. Now that you're here, maybe we can find a way back to it. <laughs> maybe. Tunkley. And if we're lucky... <laughs> oh, God. And if we're lucky, we come across a few stranded rescue officers along the way. You do? Oh, before I forget, take this. It's an official rescue course tablet. We use them to share information. Thank goodness I always carry an extra. Tap on the left side there to open and reveal your missions. Okay. Yes, sir. God, my throat. That is not me! <laughs> you can use this app anytime to confirm what tasks are top priority. See, so, there's... So there are... Huh? You can do side missions or main missions, right? Because right now I, I have a main missions tab. So you're telling me I can do side missions as well? I have some other handy apps. <coughs> I'm dying. I have some other handy apps to share, but I'll install them later when we have a moment to rest. Well, you know. Please. For now, just remember that you can always tap up to view missions. But if you press select and select select shortcut settings, you can assign different functions to each shortcut button. Oh, hot dog. Great. Can I... Um... Okay. Oh. Oh. History... Oh. Okay. Hello? Now then, let's go find the SS Shepard. Alright, let's get going. Let's get moving. Ugh. The way they flail their arms and legs are so funny. I don't know why. <laughs> but holy crap. Oh! There she is! The SS Shepard! I can see the ship, but I have no idea how we're going to reach it from here. You know, there's something familiar about this area. I remember something. It's just up ahead. Let's go! Alright. Will do. I just want to take the time to look around me. It's just... It's so nice, man. Ah. Oh. <laughs> this is just bothering me. I don't like the appearance. <laughs> I, I would change it, but I can't change it right Hello? now, at least. Because I, it doesn't have black hair or anything. The planets on this planet are gigantic. Always make sure the area is safe of art. I, I, yes. Can you believe this, Ochi? We're stuck with this old geezer. Hey, I can hear you. <laughs> Daddy. Look, that's it. See that big hole in the ground over there? If only we could find a way there, then we could finally reunite with the SS Shepard. Hmm. I have a theory. <laughs> it's impossible to get over the ledge. I see that. Use R to find another route. I found the other route. I didn't have to use R. Pussy. Silly. Or something underneath the dirt. Yes. I, I know. It's, I'm way ahead of you. There you go. Come on, Ochi. On the pole? This is a perfect job for a rescue pop. They're known for being excellent diggers. Look in front of you. Good pop, Ochi. They're making easy work. Okay. You're so old. It's, it's insulting. Almost there. I'm getting old, my eyes don't work the same as they used to. Please Hello. forgive me. I thought Ochi was a giraffe. You can see why rescue pups are the rescue course pride and joy. Huh? This looks just like the other hole we saw. Honey. Well done, Ochi. Now I'm gonna go take a nap and never wake up. Turn a bit. <laughs> I wonder if these two holes are somehow connected underground. I'm sure they are. It looks pretty deep. We're just going to have to get dive right in. <laughs> For real? No, no, no. Let's do it. I'm ready. That's the spirit. Here we go. There it does look pretty dark down there. And my throat is dying. Come on, old man. Let's do this. Uh, I'm going down. Come on. You're joining me. The spaceship's right there, and yet... You know? I suppose we ought to dive into that hole! Let's go. I'm ready. 
We're going into the depths, baby. Burrow of beginning, sub-level one. Oh, so these are back. The sub-levels are back. We're going back into the cave systems, just like from Pikmin 2. Oh my god. <laughs> First, a callback to Pikmin 1 with the ship part. Now, a callback to Pikmin 2 with the cave systems. Oh my god, I love this. Hey, what is it, Ochi? He's trying to tell us something. Perhaps another rescue officer is down here. All right, let's take a gander. Okay. Looks like a dead end. Uh, I oh, yeah, see no. that, Colin. Let's try somewhere else. All right. Let's make our way upwards. Uh-huh. Right. Bulborp slugs. All right. Here we go. And Oh, yes, I see you. You're in trouble. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what's going on here. Hi! Okay. Oh my! What a place to find the captain! Oh, that's the captain? That terrified individual you see over there is the captain of our rescue corps team. Look sharp, Ganvius! Oh, okay. I thought I was the captain, but sure. Okay, Shepard. Okay, that's her name. I, I, mm, I, I gotta think of another voice now. This is no time for a history lesson. Hurry up and do something. That's my voice for Shepard. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, uh, uh. Oh no, she's surrounded by creatures. I see that. I'm, I'm way ahead of you. Okay. <laughs> They're just doing Oompa Loompa dances. <laughs> Or they're going, e, e, a, e, a, o, 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 ooga, booga. <laughs> All right, I'll help you. Hang on. Sorry. All right. Get a mochi. Yeah. Attack. You got Zochi. Go, go, go. Yeah. There we go. And they turn into mush and then, okay. Are you good? Phew. Yeah. Now we can relax a bit. Captain. It sounds like he just said Genshin nipples. <laughs> Captain, we took care of the creatures down here. Can you get down? I hope so. My arms are almost numb. I've been hanging on for so long. Oh, okay. I can do this. <laughs> I can't remember if that was the actual voice or not. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I can't voice female characters. What's your status, Colin? Are you okay? Should I be asking you that? I'm just relieved to see you're all right. Oh, you. I haven't seen you since rookie training camp. I'm Captain Shepard of the Rescue Corps, if you don't remember. Oh, no, I don't remember. Did you order Ochi to get rid of those creatures all by yourself, Ganvius? Huh? Uh, yeah, yeah, I sure did. I'm captain now. I am Captain Ganvius. Actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> There's a vast difference between the two. <laughs> Ochi's not supposed to obey anyone but me. You okay? Guess that rookie training paid off after all, didn't it? You know, the first time I saw you in training, I had a feeling you'd make a top-notch dog trainer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I just realized my voice for Shepard sounds like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> I, I'm trying to be v versatile with the voices and it's not really working out. Shepard, also from Planet Gaia. A 99th Gen Rescue Corps officer, she was saved by a rescue pup as a child, sparking a lifelong love for her furry colleagues. Interesting. Alright, we found Captain Shepard! Alright! Cool. We found Captain Shepard! With the captain here, it feels like there may be some hope of us, or for us after all. Sorry to interrupt, Captain, but uh... What were you doing down here, anyway? While exploring the surface, I discovered a suspicious hole. I leaned over to take a look inside and fell right in. I wandered around this cave, trying to find an exit, when I came up on those icky, slimy creatures. Hang on, did you fall down the hole located near the SS Shepherd? We entered this cave in an attempt to reach that very opening. The ball. Well then, what are we waiting around here for? Hold Let's get back to the SS Shepherd. Let's do it as I go Mickey Mouse mode, and I'm sorry. <laughs> Is there something wrong? You didn't say anything, Ganvius. Copy that. Is the Rescue Corps way of saying understood? Let's try saying it together, okay? 
Copy that! Uh, the copy that too! <laughs> Very good! Excellent reply! That said, you'll need to review the Rescue Corps' Rescue Journal for your upcoming missions. It's essential to our work! Okay. <laughs> I... <laughs> I can't speak. No, this is great. No, this is interesting. I'm really enjoying this so far. I'm very intrigued. So much is going on right now. So much, I'm, I'm taking in so much. <laughs> Rescue journal. This is where you'll find advice left by captains both past and present. I have no doubt the knowledge and wisdom they share here will guide you well. <laughs> okay, tablet menu. Oh, well, I could just swap in between everything. Radar map, missions, ID badges, rescue journal, history, and stats. Very interesting. You'll be able to access them via your tablet as the need arises. So put them to good use while out in the field. Since Ochi and you have bonded, I officially approve of your partnership. I'll be observing you both to see what skills you have as a rescue pup trainer. Uh, will do. Okay. Now watch this, Captain. <laughs> wait, wait, what? What would you do? No, watch this! <laughs> yeah. That was quite a rush. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Also, all druggies say. Okay, uh. Yeah, let's go this way. And it just takes me out of here. Can I check my tablet? Yeah, I can. This is so weird, man. There's so much happening. <laughs> I remember this area. Okay. Alright. There's a ticket out here. There. That's where I fell in. I need a. My word! To think you survived a fall from that height. But more importantly, how are we supposed to climb up there? Huh? Watch this. This will blast us, I guarantee you. Something under the light. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure what the thing is. We're about to find out. Yeah, so for the little pop-ups, I'm probably not going to voice act as those, because it's going to be way too much. Proceed with caution. You got it. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love this. This is great. We haven't even ran into any Pikmin yet. That's 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 the weird thing. We haven't seen any Pikmin. Obviously, you know, on Olimar's side, we found Pikmin, but here we did not. Oh, this is fun. This is really good. Wow. Excuse me, Ganvius. I suggest you exercise a bit more caution when encountering something unfamiliar. Maybe don't just touch it. <laughs> My bad. I completely agree. I'm getting so old that my heart was in my nuts. Though in this case, your impulsive behavior did get us out of the dead cave. <laughs> I claim this as Colin Land. <laughs> All right, Captain. The Rescue Corps flag has been officially planted. Now for the status report on all cave-related activities. We located the rescue one castaway, and no other individuals were found during our search. Noted. Then let's consider the investigation of this cave complete. Hope this experience will help you prepare for the challenges inherent to our work. There are lives depending on us. Well, you both did good work today. Well done, Ganvius and Ochi. Thank you. I guess we're just going to skip right over the fact that we had to rescue the captain herself. Colin, you look at different since the last time we saw you. Did you do something new with your hair? I don't think so. I've been a bit busy trying to, you know, stay alive. About 87 years old. Of course, and good for you. You did it. Well, here she is, the SS Shepherd. Oh, uh, my throat. My throat. Well, look at that. Look at that. And is that a bell I see next to it? Oh, I think it is. Oh, you guys. Okay, I got, I got a whole squad on me. All right, head for the SS Shepherd. Okay. <laughs> All right. Is that smoke pouring out of the SS Shepherd? I'll investigate right away. Famous last words. <laughs> oh no, that's not good. Oh. Oh. Status report. 
Upon investigating the interior of the ship, I have discovered the engine has overheated. Yeah, huh. And that the spaceship was seconds away from total destruction. What? Oh no. Will it be okay? It will. I initiated an emergency shutdown and everything's stable. I can't do this voice much longer, game. Please have mercy on my soul. Thankfully, the engine can be repaired. However, the ship's energy stores are now completely empty. So I have no way of getting off this planet. Let alone searching for Captain Olimar. Not necessarily. I think I saw something in Captain Olimar's voyage log that may prove useful. Here it is. Take a look at this. My throat is actually about to explode. Oh my god. Okay. Installing new apps. Uh, oh, and Olimar speaking. <laughs> Oh God, okay. Oh, man, give me a minute. <laughs> I found treasure. After thorough investigation into the shiny objects found on this planet, I have deduced that they must contain sparklium. They mentioned sparklium? They didn't. Yes. I feel giddy to have found real life treasure, but my focus must remain on my main objective, finding the missing parts of the Ursus Dolphin. Yes, yes, of course. Okay. <laughs> but sp Sparkly-ums a thing in this game. Alright. I got that reference because of playing Hey Pikmin. In layman's terms, as my voice is not consistent, we should be able to extract sparkly -um from sparkling objects that we find on this planet and convert it into energy. Okay. If they can be used to restart or restore the SS Shepard, those objects truly are nothing short of real life treasures. I'm skeptical, but at this point, we have nothing to lose. This may be our only chance. <laughs> so from this point on, we have a new mission. Find and collect all the sparkly objects we can. <laughs> Copy that. All right. Oh, okay. All right. 300? Wait, what? Secure energy source. Apparently, sparkly objects can be used as an energy source. Look at as many as you can so you can restart the SS Shepard. Okay. Pinch nipple? <laughs> it sounds like he just said pinch a nipple. Once we collect this treasure, we'll need a way to transport it. Hey! For that, for that, we can use the SS Beagle. Okay. I see. Oh, that's a journey. That's a journey away. Kopchi. We just need a good place for it to land. Huh? What's that over there? Oh. I love how Shepard and I have the exact same body build and everything. <laughs> We're almost like twins. Maybe some sort of landmark, but I'm not completely sure. It looks like the perfect spot for a base of operations called the ship over. What? Hit the pole. I don't know if I trust that pink stone. SS Beagle repositioning successful. Good. Our preparations are complete. All right. Let's find that treasure. All right. Cool. Alright, see anything sparkly around here? Uh, you found one! <laughs> found a- what is that? What the hell is that? Is this what I think it is? This has to be a treasure. Just look at the way it sparkles. No. Let's check the tablet to see if it's emitted a high energy reading. Alright, rookie. Press plus to open the radar map. You know the plus button, it's opposite to your minus. I know! Shut up because <laughs> my throat! I'm fully aware. Alright, let's take a gander. Yeah, there's a star on it. That means it's treasure. Presence of Sparklium confirmed. That star in the center represents the treasure. Right. From now on, you can consult your radar map to check if there's any treasure in your area. Uh, that, okay. I, I see that. Yes, I've done this before. Excellent work. I'm going to take this suspicious start as a good sign. But, um, how are we going to move it? That's what Pikmin are for, wherever they may be. Or I can get Ochi to do the work for me. 
Yeah, there we go. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. Uh, oh, you literally. Okay. You carry it back just for me. I don't need Pikmin. Look at that. So, I was. I just expected you to dig it up, and then I would have to find Pikmin for them to carry it back. But that works too. Yeah. This treasure is large. How can we physically collect something this big? That's what she said. The ship uses a special type of light ray that miniatures objects during collection. So it shouldn't be a problem. I'll examine it with the sensors on the SS Beagle right away. Let's hope it contains the type of energy we need. Oh, okay. Let's see. Our first treasure. Yes. <laughs> Oh, that gave us 50. Okay. I thought it was about, say, one of 300. <laughs> All right. That gave us 50, 50 sparklium. Okay. Yes. Energy detected. If we can collect 250 more units of sparklium, we may be able to restart the SS Shepherd. The SS Shepherd is supposed to run on high octane energy. Will this work? Believe we can get it to run on sparklium alone. Though it may be a bumpier ride. But before that can happen, we're going to need a lot more. Then we need to search the area for more treasure. Okay. All right. Good God. This this is draining my energy. All this voice acting and stuff. But this is so much fun. Okay, it just showed one of three. So there's definitely two more around here somewhere. But man, this is such a good time. I'm really enjoying this. Okay, I found one. Well, hey. Just like that. This one looks extra shiny. Okay. I can't get up there, though. I see that red onion, though. That's definitely a red onion, right? <laughs> oh, Shepard has no idea. What's this? Look out! Is it a treasure? Nope, it's not a treasure. All right, check it out, Ochi. It's, it looks like an apple. <laughs> Excavation complete. All right. So, yeah, you see how it's moving? That, that's a, that's an onion for sure. And there's our third treasure. And that's a Game Boy SP. That is awesome. All right, well, at least we know where all three treasures are. Uh-oh. Oh, how convenient. Right in the middle of the pink uh, pebble area. <laughs> Look at that! Yes! Well, we're back at square one. <laughs> huh? It moved. I don't think it's a treasure. What could it be? It looks kind of like a plant. Could this be that thing Captain Olimar wrote about in his voyage log? He called it an onion. If this is an onion, then what is that sprout? I don't know. But if you allow me to do the honors to pluck it, I will show you. It is... A pick man! Ugh. First pluck of the game. Red Pikmin. Alright. Hi, buddy. How are you doing? <laughs> oh, my. I think this could be a Pikmin. According to Captain Olimar's voyage log, they're friendly and helpful creatures. Well, well then, maybe they could help us while we explore and look for treasure. <laughs> <laughs> Ochi's like, what the hell is that? Look at that! Ochi's already bonded with the Pikmin! You should introduce yourself as well, Ganvius. Yeah, no. And, uh, Captain, how long do you intend to hide back here? Right back there. <laughs> well, it's good to know that Ochi's not trying to eat the Pikmin, right? Huh? I'm glad they're bonding. Press A to throw. Yeah, I got you. I, I, I know how this works, don't you worry. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go to town on these pellets. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and plus from this, this new angle, it's so weird. We're not like top down like this. Even though we could be, we obviously have the option. We're more, you know, ground level. It's so weird, but I love it. All right. Yeah. I have two more. <laughs> what? More sprouts? That red seed-like thing is apparently called a pellet. 
If you feed one to the onion, it will create more Pikmin. Hmm. Oh. What a mysterious life form. Indeed. <laughs> As it lays down. Okay. There we go. All right. Now we got three. All right. We're back, baby. Baby, we're back. And I love the auto lock on. That's so nice. So I can go over here. Yoink. Perfect. I love that. Yeah. Oh, it feels so good. Okay. Yoink. Yeah, you got that one right. Yeah. Oh, this is so satisfying. I think they nailed the gameplay already. Like, I think they nailed it. It's so freaking satisfying. And it feels extremely refined. I can pluck them so quickly. And they grow so much quicker as well. Wait, wait. Oh. I don't know. N never mind. I, it's, hard, it's hard to say. The plucking just seems much quicker than it ever did. Okay, yoink. I gotta make sure... I get all of them. Okay, I think I got all the pellets. So now I'm gonna go for all the treasure. So how many do I need for you? Oh wait, oh, okay. I can make Ochi rush to make the Game Boy SP drop. Right? Game Boy Advance SP. Yes! Yes! <laughs> run, everybody, run! <laughs> nice! <laughs> That was close! Too close! Game Boy Advance SP. Um, it's funny because my, my actual Game Boy Advance SP is actually on my shelf all the way back there. You guys can't see it, but it's back there chilling. Okay, only 10's required there. But let's go pluck the final Pikmin. There we go. Alright. I got 13. So, let's back over here do a little bit of this I can't swarm yet I have to just toss the Pikmin I don't have the ability to swarm that's so weird we're not quite there yet I haven't got there yet okay that's so odd I, I was trying to swarm <laughs> okay all right now oh, how much do I need for you only five okay I only got three on me all right one at a time here let's see yeah! 200! I just need 100 more and then we're good, just like that. Alright, we got a Game Boy SP! Game Boy Advance SP, just like that. Very nice. Hey, keep this up, you got it. One, two, three, four, five. Alrighty. I could supply more Pikmin though, right? Yeah, Let's speed up the process. Somewhat. All right. What is that? Oh, it's a bicycle bell thing. It's pretty cool. All right, let's see it. Huzzah! We did it! You two make a fantastic combination, Ganvis and Ochi. Thanks a bunch. No fall. Yes, yes, keep up the good work. The Pikmin are very obedient. They move and work like tiny rescue pups. <laughs> Touch your nipples? Now it sounds like he's saying touch your nipples. Now that it's time to extract the energy from the treasure. Get started right away, Colin. All right. Okay. Nice. Very easy so far. Extremely easy, but I'm loving it. Oh. Cut energy from the treasure will soon be extracted. I'll flow directly into the SS Shepherd, or it'll flow. Ah. No, not a perfectly good Game Boy Advance SP. <laughs> I bet that one was backlit too. All right, so we got the bell, and then we got like the uh, the tiny fork thingy. There's a proper name for that. I just don't know the name. All right. It looked like it did something there. Already, the Ezra Shepherd is running! Just like that, I expected that to take much longer. 
We restore the Diesa Shepherd using the sparkly M extracted from the treasure. Hello, hello. We did it. The ship's back online. We still don't have enough energy to fly, but now you can use the radar to look for other missing rescue officers. Excellent, Colin. Put it up and see if we pick up any signals. All right. Mm. I'm picking up multiple SOS signals. It could be coming from our lost rescue officers, and even Captain Olimar. Then we don't have a moment to lose. Time to get rescuing. All right. Are we, are we going to go to different planets, or are we just stay on this one planet and just go in different areas? I don't know. But hey, we got Colin and Shepard. All right. 300 sparklium discovered and everything. Noble bid bident bident <laughs> stone of advancement and path creator that's interesting the ship is automatically naming the objects we encounter unknown objects and elements on our missions all the time so i had a naming ai installed on our new ships uh apparently it was co-created by famous appraiser that's more sophisticated than i expected pretty impressive yeah, no. indeed it is neat but a backup power source probably would have been more helpful. <laughs> All right. Cool Aww. stuff, man. <clears throat> My throat is destroyed. I was worried when I saw the smoke bellowing out the SS Shepherd. I didn't know how things would shake out. Thank goodness we were able to make the repairs. I'd been roughing it for long enough, and there's something to be said for. I'm finally having a proper prepared meal! And you're sure we have enough emergency rations, Colin? We have no idea how long we'll be stuck on this planet. I counted our stock three times, but I can do it again! Excellent plan! Now tomorrow I'll focus on the recon, so you and Ochi need to eat and get lots of rest, Canvas! Trust me, I need it. <laughs> but don't forget to review your missions before heading to bed. Oh? Oh. So we got two missions. Rescue the rescue core and secure energy source. The SOS signals we discovered must be coming from our rescue officers. Come talk to me as soon as you're ready. And if we're going to restore the SS Shepherd's radar and expand our search area, we need you to go out and gather more sparkling. Okay. I've, I got 300 of 1,500. Gotcha. All right. Cool. Cool. Rescue mission day two. Okay. All right. Good morning. <laughs> Aww. Hey, buddy. God, this game is so beautiful, man. And, and I thought Pikmin 3 was beautiful. This is this is next level. All right. I guess this is everyone. I call this strategy meeting to order. Copy that. Here's the latest status report. As of today, two rescue officers and one rescue pup have been recovered thanks to the efforts of Ganvius. However, the whereabouts of the other four rescue officers remain unknown, and the SS Shepherd is out of commission. All things considered, our primary mission to rescue of Captain Olimar has run into some roadblocks. Our first priority is now the search and rescue of our fellow rescue officers. Olimar! Ganvius, Ochi! Fly to the area where our radar picked up those distress signals and try to track down our missing personnel. Colin and I will remain with the ship. We'll provide direction and guidance from here. Don't worry! We'll be available via the SS Shepherd's wireless communication at all times. So you'll have our full support. Thanks, old man. I wouldn't typically assign so much responsibility to a rookie, but after seeing you in action, I know you can handle it. Plus, you'll be in good paws with Ochi by your side. You two make a great team. Huh? Thank you. Captain, what about our search for Captain Olimar? Shall we officially put it on pause? No. We may still find him during our hunt for the other rescue officers. I'll keep it on our mission list, just in case. Oh, on that note, I hereby call this strategy meeting to a close. Copy that! Alright. Yeah, mission rescue Olimar. Captain Olimar is shipwrecked on this unknown planet. Discover his whereabouts while you search for missing rescue corps officers. Will do. 
will do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's going to do it for today's episode of Pikmin 4. I am still processing the fact that this is real, that we're actually playing this game right here, right now, that this is the final chapter of my Pikmin journey. Like, I just can't process that right now. And it's... Oh God, it just feels so weird, but it feels so good to finally be playing this game. So if you guys have enjoyed part one of Pikmin 4, I really hope it lives up to the hype, or it did live up to the hype. But if you guys have enjoyed, please smash that like button and let me know in comments down below. And subscribe if you haven't already, please and thank you. We're almost at 14,000 subscribers, so if we can hit 14,000 subscribers, that would be absolutely insane. So again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in part two, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye guys, see you guys soon.